Mastitis. What is it? How do you prevent it? For one, you want to make sure that these nipples, the ninnies, are getting relieved. I told you in a video, I believe, it's probably on a YouTube short to do a nipple check. Nipple check for one is to make sure for what, that the dog's producing milk. Two, if the nipple starts getting hard, it can get infected. If it gets infected, you got to put it on some medication because then the nipple gets filled with bacteria. If the uh, milk, per se, the nipple ninny isn't getting relieved, what do normally ends up happening if something sits, especially milk and ferments, right? Ferments, meaning it gets bacteria. Mind you, I'm just throwing a wild guess out there, not really. Uh, so, two drugs you want to keep in your house are amoxicillin and cephalexin. I'm going to read to you some of the diseases, my, my bad, not diseases, some of the issues you should be mindful of. TV here with Fit Bully TV people, like, subscribe, share. We'll do a nipple check here in a second. So, nipple check. Lay down, mom. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, she's got a, she's got some milk there. Okay, so squeeze down here if you don't see any. Push down there and then squeeze. Oh, see, that one got a lot of milk. Let's go check this out a little bit. A little bit. So there's some milk coming out. One got me. Oh, mastitis is a real thing. A buddy of mine showed me a, a very scary picture. A matter of fact, I will show you what the picture looks like. And I'm glad I was awake, actually. Uh, but it looked like it progressively, unfortunately, Got worse. So shout out to my girl over in the UK. Look, that's her nipple. Can you see that? And then let me show you what it turned into. Now, mind you, that was 17 hours ago. And then, um, let's see, then this phone or the other phone. Then it went to here. And it started bleeding. Scary, right? So I said, man, call Chris. I said, because normally you put a warm towel on it. And you turn around and put a puppy on it and puppy will help basically relieve it. If that's not the case, then you need to run some drugs and you need to keep any puppy off of it for 48 hours at least. So when we look at some of the issues that a female might run into, <laughs> this one whole section, Lord have mercy. I was going to go to the front. Oh my. So this right here is when things go wrong, reproductive problems in, you see the word. <sighs> mastitis is where I picked up. Mind you, I've already talked about mastitis, but you got silent heat. You want to know about short cycles, long cycles, persistent heat, failure to cycle, uh, vaginitis. These are some things that you might want to um, look into. Vaginal hyperplasia. Lord have mercy. You might want to write some of these down, people. Endometriosis. Subinvalation of placental sites. Eclampsia. Pyometria, which is a killer to all the people who try to breed. Torsion prolapse of the uterus. Reabsorption. Oh, that's a frightening thing. Clearly, mastitis, mammary tumors, false pregnancy, other tumors, canine brucellosis, which is that thing you want to make sure you, your boy dogs, if you're doing natural ties, have their brucellosis shot. But let's just talk about mastitis real quick. Mastitis refers to infection or inflammation of the mammary glands and results from bacterial infection. The route of infection is usually undetermined. So to tell you right off top, there's no direct way to determine, hey, what caused the mastitis? A lot of times, from my understanding, based on the experience of both vets, doctors, and other breeders I know who've been doing it for years, it's just making sure that even the nipples get a little massage, especially if you have small litter. If you have three to four pups, every nipple needs some relief. So where I don't put the put pups on the nipple, I would, if I had three or four pups per se, and we've been there before, make sure they're at least rotating around, getting to every nipple. Day one, Zara would squat to pee or poop and her nipples literally would touch the ground because they were so swollen. Now, there's a lot more relief there, which we're glad for. Bacteria may invade through the teats or the bloodstream. Painful, reddened, hard, and enlarged mammary glands will be the first sign of trouble. 
the mix the milk will usually be abnormal with a creamy appearance indicative of pus uh -oh. or streaked with blood if left untreated the glands may form abscess pockets that can rupture on the outside through the skin forming, forming open source now this goes on <laughs> Uh, and look, I know you guys are going to say, well, what book is that? You've watched this long. Canine Reproductive for Breeders. I told you. You stay tuned. I'll drop these little hints. And mind you, guys, I tell you, I think the most frustrating part, I have to keep saying this because I get this every day. What book is that? If you guys were asking these questions that I'm asking, you already would have found the books. What was this book written? Let's see. I think it's normally at the beginning of the book. All right, relax. I was copyrighted in 2011. Dang! You mean to tell me this book is 10 years old? 10 years old and y'all been breeding? Ain't never found this book? <laughs> it kills me, people. It kills me. Some people, hey man, can you please tell me what books to read? It's like, my man, what is it that you're trying to solve for, man? For one, I want to make sure my females are always safe, so I need to get that doctorate in this thing. And that just means having an understanding. For two, our, our, we want to educate and teach. So to do that, I need to be informed at a high level so that I could help support people who are trying to do it the right way. And that means you pace yourself and hopefully very little to no things go wrong. For three, I love science and information and I don't mind reading. <laughs> I literally opened the book and sent him the page of the picture last night at what, 2.30 in the morning. Guys, if you ask better questions, you actually want to do better. For one, I clearly I've raised the bar. So you're asking the right questions now, but you should have been asking these questions if I'm being clear. And again, the more we know, the better we can do. So if your dog, again, something as simple as mastitis, normally from my understanding can be prevented. If it gets real bad and you see pus or a yellow liquid that doesn't look like milk, get her on some medicine, keep the pups off of that particular nipple, especially if it's about to bust. This is a good book to use for a point of reference. There are three or four more books. I, I, I'm gonna tell you as much as I can. We're gonna drop gems here and there. But if you don't know what you're looking for, someone says, hey, what books to get? I wouldn't tell you to go get books about rocket science. I wouldn't tell you to go get books about locomotion if you have a dog that does not run, hop, skip, or, or jump. I wouldn't tell you to go get a book on bones if you don't understand bone formulation and if, and, and if developing bone functionality means nothing to you. Why would it matter? When I say bone functionality, I need the bones to be set in a way so when I send the dog to come get you or if we're playing fetch, I minimize the risk of potential ACL tears because I, by design, not structure the hips, but strengthen the hips properly, while also making sure his front is just too much. So I'm analyzing the science of how to put things together, since breeding in some form or fashion is considered an art. At any who, stay tuned. Please take care of your dogs. I would encourage you to get this book. We'll be setting up a list where you can go purchase all the books I have and I'll add to the list. But if you're here following our YouTube, then I'm going to teach you what to look for in books and information and how to utilize the information, meaning apply it. Go get your golden ticket if it's not too late. Um, this video should go up within the next 48 hours. The golden ticket is for all those people who ask me all the time, what should I feed my dog? Matter of fact, I think that's what we're going to do a video for next. What should I feed my dog? Get your golden ticket. It's 40 slots available. Literally, I'm going to break down how to feed a pup. And once a month, every month, I'm going to teach you how to feed and what to feed, the science, the numbers, etc. Why I do certain things and what to look for in a, in a good meal. Then we'll get to doing great meals. Take care of your dogs, people. Thanks for watching.